Hey guys, this is Damian with TheUnlocker.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install Cyanogen Mod on the HP Touchpad. Alright, so before we get started, there's a couple points I need to go over. The first thing is that this is a very early alpha build, and chances are most users are going to find certain features may or may not work. Um, it may not be for everyone to use every day. I haven't had any issues with anything, but some users have, so it's kind of um, trial and error. Uh, the second thing is this is going to void your HP warranty. If you have to do any warranty service on your touchpad, you have to revert back to WebOS, and that is, is pretty simple to do. And I'm going to have another video up after this one to show you how to convert back to WebOS. Okay, so if you want to go ahead and, and proceed with the install, the first thing we need to do is download the Novacom drivers, and this is basically just POMS um, USB drivers. So go ahead and click on that link, download them, and then we're going to run the program. Okay, so after you have the drivers installed, we need to download the actual cyanog Cyanogen Mod ROM, the Clockwork Mod Recovery uh, image, and a multi-boot image called MoBoot. Download those and then place them on your desktop. Okay, next plug in the USB cable, and then select USB drive. Okay, so back on your PC, we need to go into the touchpads drive, and then we're going to create a new folder. So just right click, choose new, then folder, and then we're going to rename it CM install. After you have the folder named, we're going to place the three downloaded files directly into that folder. Next thing we need to do after the files are placed in the folder is go back into the drive, right click it and then select eject. This is going to allow you to unplug the USB cable safely without damaging the internal drive. Next unplug the USB cable and power off your touchpad. Okay, so with the touchpad powered off, we need to power back on, this time holding the volume up button and the power button at the same time. Okay, once you have it powered back up, plug the USB cable back into it. Okay, now we're going to download the Acme installer. This installer is going to automatically install the Cyanogen Mod and Clockwork Mod Recovery. Once you have it downloaded, place it on your desktop. Extract the contents of the Acme installer to your desktop. Once you have it extracted, we need to put that extracted file into your Palm Inc. folder. Now this folder was created when you installed the Novacom drivers, so go to your Start menu computer C drive program files and then and then just scroll down to you find palm ink and then place the extracted file into this folder now we need to open up a command prompt window so in your start menu, type CMD in the search field, hit enter. Once you have the command prompt window open, simply type out the command that you see here, hit enter. By hitting enter, you're going to change the directory path to the Palm Inc. folder. This is the folder that we installed the Acme installer into. 
Okay, so once you're in the Palm Inc. directory, you have to type out this following command and then hit enter. Okay, once you hit enter, your touchpad is going to look like it's going crazy. You're going to see all this script work running up and down the screen. This means it's installing properly. Okay guys, after it reboots, you're now running CyanogenMod Android on your HP touchpad.